And greetings and welcome back to my channel. It's your Divine Soul Sister Shaki coming in. And this is a Divine Soul with the Shaki. If this is the first time that you've ever seen me, this video is dedicated to helping you tune into your own divinity to grow and to live the life that you truly desire to live. Um, in this on this channel, I, I talk about various topics. I talk about things that I've experienced during this particular lifetime. I talk about my spiritual practices. I speak about meditation. I speak about yoga. I speak about um, altars and so on and so forth. This particular video is a video regarding gratitude. So this week in particular, the week of the 13th of January of this 2020 year, has been particularly stressful for my family and I. And, but through every experience in life, there's a lesson to be learned. There's an opportunity to grow. There's something to be gained, whether it's um, the experience has been pleasant or not. Um, for us, uh, my family and I, it, it was not a pleasant experience at all. But I wanted to speak about what I've learned from it, how my definition of gratitude has shifted, and also how the universe will give us signs and, and, and symbols to alleviate the stressors that we have in relation to um, our lives and the things that may not be pleasant or fun or kind, like or make us feel good. So this week, my youngest son uh, became ill. Um, it has still not been determined exactly what was going on, but he was hospitalized as a result of what was going on with him. Um, not to go too far into it, but it was very scary. Um, it was nerve wracking. It was, and you know, I am a single mother. Um, they have a father, but he lives very far away. And you know, my children and I. So I have six children. I've said this before. Five of my children are still in the home. My oldest son is an adult and lives in his own place. Um, however, when it's you and all of these little people are depending on you, there's a tremendous amount of pressure involved with that. For one of them to become ill, now not very long ago, just last month, early last month, my youngest daughter suffered an injury and lost a portion of her finger. That was traumatic. Um, luckily, we're on the other side of that. Now the situation with my baby has come up. Again, I was fearful, distraught, extremely hurt because you feel helpless in that moment or those moments when you don't know what's going on. You can't do anything to stop whatever it is. So... The helplessness, like my hands were cut off. There was nothing I could do except for be present and try to keep myself composed so that he would remain composed. But at the end of it all, now my son is at home. Everything has been so far so good. And um, we hope that that continues. And we're, we're willing that that continues, that he continues to be his full and total self with no affliction, no setbacks, no more episodes. I began to think the other day about gratitude and how I am guilty of my definition of being of gratitude being very much focused on the wrong things. My focus has been to grow my business, to make more money so that I could do more things, so I could buy a home, so that I could take my children different places, so that I could travel more. There's nothing wrong with that. But when your gratitude is completely tied to materialistic things, you've missed it. You've missed it. This week, my definition of gratitude was seeing my son argue with his sisters and brothers. Seeing him be his self, be his wild, crazy, Scorpio little self. Not the little boy that was in the emergency room with two IVs in his arms, not speaking, just there, not living, but existing. Um, it was very hard, but as I sat with myself after we returned home, 
I heard the word gratitude. I'm grateful for these days after hospitalization that he's not had another episode. I'm grateful for the lab that he has. I'm grateful for the people that have supported me during this time. Because anybody that knows me knows how important my children are to me. And then I've been thinking about me trying to reprogram the poverty consciousness that exists within because I was raised with that mindset, right? Abundance comes in many forms. And I missed it. Abundance in health should be of the utmost importance. And even though I think I take good care of myself, am I really exhibiting that to my children? Do I really understand that when children are well, that is something to be grateful for? When you are well, that is something to be grateful for. You know, most people, when you ask them, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for my house, my car, my job, my lover or my husband or my wife, so on and so forth. Very rarely do you hear people say they're grateful for their health or the health of those that they love. But this week has brought that to the forefront. Then I began to reflect upon situations that I allowed to get under my skin. Um, situations that I allowed to affect my day. And I realized that, you know, I've been giving a lot of energy to a lot of things that are nonsensical. They do not make good sense. Why am I putting so much energy into these people and situations that are not serving my highest and best good? Like we say that, oh, that's not serving me. But are we acting upon it? Or are, or are we allowing ourselves to be sucked back into these cycles that are so comfortable and familiar to us? A lot of us are complacent because of comfortable, because it's comfortable. Very comfortable to remain where you've been. Very comfortable to continue on the path that you've been on because you know that way. Very comfortable to drive the same same route to work because you know that way. It's the same in life. It's very, very easy to react a certain type of way, like fly off the handle if someone speaks harm, like speaks to you in a certain tone, or um, give someone a silent treatment because they acted out of order or something in that regard, right? But then to acknowledge where your actions and ways have not been serving your best and highest good to help you to expand not just your consciousness but your whole self um, is it should be empowering it's not always easy though but this week has caused me to have a little more grace with people and to let some things go everything can't be like i can't let myself go to the thousand degree I cannot make people care about certain things more like to the level that I care because we are individuals and we all have our own journeys to to live and to, you know we have our own lives to lead and so that's brought me a tremendous amount of peace to stop expecting me from other people I think a lot of us get into the cycle of expecting me yourself from someone else but they are not you they are them and the minute that you accept that, the minute that you can experience some peace. So I will challenge you for the following, the week ahead, whenever you view this, because this, this is a timeless message, um, to really review what your definition of gratitude is and then reflect upon the things that really you should be grateful for. I'm so grateful my son is arguing with his siblings right now. Is it frustrating and aggravating that they do that? Yeah. But the latter of him not is, is completely unacceptable, unnatural, and heartbreaking. And I don't want that ever. I don't ever want to see him or any of my other children in that condition. 
Um, so think about gratitude, what your definition is on it. And I would love if those of you that view the video, if you feel so inclined to share below just one thing that you are grateful for. Just one thing. And even if I just said, oh, I'm grateful for my house and I'm just talking in that manner. If that is what you are grateful for in this moment, that is what you are grateful for. Because I'm going to tell you something. Um, probably 19 years ago, I was homeless. I was definitely grateful for a roof after being homeless during the dead of winter. So I get it. It's all relative. So those statements that I made in this video are not a judgment at all. It's just where I'm coming from right now. For me. This is speaking about me. Not about you or what you should or shouldn't. I can't tell you what your definition is. That's why I told you to reflect on it. And I think you have much more. I have some people saying, I don't have nothing to be grateful for. That's bullshit. There's plenty to be grateful for. If you will take time and actually reflect, look at your life, look at the lives of those that are connected to you, and then respond from that place. So this has been Ashaki Ali, also known as the Divine Soul Sister. If you are interested in working with me or connecting with me further, I have all of my links to my Facebook, Instagram, my um, Divine Soul Academy, as well as um, my website where you can contact me directly. Uh, other than that, I would love, if you've not subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you as a part of the fam. So if you'll hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell um, to the right of your screen or phone so that you can get all of the updates of when I upload. I usually do um, produce one video per week. And they are all, most for the most part, spiritually inclined, you know, about various tools, things that I know are effective to help you live the life that you desire. So this has been Ashaki, sending you all an abundance of peace, love, light, and always balance. See you guys next week. Peace.